against a team that you had beaten quite handily, but they were coming off a, a big win, so maybe they had their tails up a little bit. What do you take away from you know getting over them in this sort of fashion? Um, look, they're, they're going to get some teams <coughs> now at the end of the season. <coughs> uh, we take the win, for sure. Um, I think there's some lessons there for us as well. I thought... You know, defensively there was some really poor play from us in the first half and then we locked down um, and put in one of the best performances any team's done this year I reckon in that second half so um, against some, some guys who can fill it up um, and we saw that last week and we saw that in the first or last uh, Monday night against Melbourne and we saw it in the first half so there was some good signs from there uh, It seemed like you guys were pressing up a lot you know, putting a lot of pressure on their guards um, 34 points off turnovers which I imagine would be one of the highest this season of any team. Um, given the dynamic guards that, guards that you have and the wins you have, is that something that you want to kind of keep encouraging your team to do? You know, step up and um, I think we've been doing it um, for a lot of the season. And, um, you know, we did it last time we played Illawarra. We've done it the last couple of times we played Melbourne. Um, you know, sometimes it works. Sometimes you can really get into the into the heads of the opposition and create those turnovers and create easy offense for yourself. Um, and sometimes you get slayed um, and get in foul trouble. And you know, the majority of times I think that we've gone in and really put good pressure in the back court. We've been um, we've been successful. Looks like you got some early good early minutes from guys like Junior, guys like Grant. Uh, not just the kind of garbage time, but you know, quality minutes in the first, second, and third. Um, you know, what does that give your team? You know, as we kind of get closer to the playoffs and, and give minutes to those guys. Yeah, I mean, those guys have. Um you know they're rookies to the league. Um, they got a lot of uh, a lot of opportunities in in, in the preseason matches, um, and the first five games of the year when we had some injuries, um, well especially junior. Um, and there was some things we took away from the preseason, the start of the season that uh, you know uh, Owen Foxwell, Junior Madut, uh, Grant needed to go work on. Um, and we've worked with them diligently at practice to try and get some things right. Um, I feel a level of comfort that we've uh, eliminated some of those issues. Um, they were all on court. They were all things that, um, from a defensive standpoint, that we, we needed. Just they need experience. And um, I feel like, you know, as the season's worn on, um, especially at practice, those guys are really starting to show the consistency there. So. You've got to reward that consistency of practice, um, and also it'd be nice to get Creaky some some minutes to, on the bench. Um, this bloke can get a bit of a rest as well, and you know Trey was obviously labouring a little bit with his ankle tonight, so it, it opened up some more opportunity for Junior. So <coughs> yeah, it's just their their growth um, in, as professional athletes that we've seen, um, and it was rewarded. On that same topic, bench points have been a bit of an issue in recent times. I know you don't always rate the quality of bench points, I get that, but still, it was 42 18 so It must be something nice to sort of. Yeah, yeah, look, our, our, our bench has been pretty productive regardless of points. Um, and I think it was last time we might have played these guys, you know, Junior Madut had two points and Ruben had zero and they were both plus 30s um, and the, the on-off. So we've got a really deep scoring roster, particularly in our starting five. And those guys don't necessarily see the ball as much as we need them to um, when they're starting and with the other starters. So when we start to get some rotations, now we can start to look to get Trey Cal more touches or we can look to go inside the source a little bit more um, and it just works out that way we've got some elite players in that starting five that need the ball in their hands so when those guys come in off the bench um, sometimes it's their job to just facilitate you, you tested quite I mean that first half was a pretty tight affair like you know they tied the scores quite a few times I mean how pleasing when you look at the final score just to see your team go to that next level and just blow an opposition away like that it must have been pretty pleasing as well yeah yeah no it was, it was a pretty impressive defensive uh, just going back to maybe like the last uh, last Two minutes of the first half, I thought we started to lock in now. I think we had four, four stops um, in a row. And then, well, I don't know how many we started the second or the third quarter um, off with. But I know we've got the first four and maybe five. And I don't know how many it was. But um, I thought we did a pretty good job. Uh, maybe they had three points in six or seven minutes there. So um, it's good to see the guys lock in. And then there was no let up when guys came into the game. Um, and that's what we want to see. you know. And it was great to see Junior and Grant come in. And there was absolutely... Absolutely no let up at that end. Ryan, it looked like, I mean, outside looking, it looked like it's probably your best game of the season. How, did you agree with that and how, how did you feel out there tonight? Uh, look, I felt, felt pretty good. Um, feel like I'm, I'm moving around and, and obviously having a bit of an interrupted pre season. Um, finding, 
finding legs, finding lungs, um, a rhythm offensively. I think we have so many weapons that, you know, some nights it's 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 my turn to get some shots. Some nights it's other guys. We we spread the load really well. Um, and tonight we was just able to you know work off guys. Um, Obviously, they were double teaming Sauce down low and, and Creaky and, and leaving shooters, and we'll get some open shots early and um, just just try to be aggressive tonight. Uh, I think it was more the defensive end that I was trying to work on and improve. I think we started the game slowly. I came up an M1 on the first possession and, and a few breakdowns, so it was, it was more so locking in defensively that I was, I was more happy with in sort of the second quarter and the second half. You mentioned the in time to start. So do you feel now like with you know, Going to the second half, do you feel like you're, you're really sort of rearing a go now, like all your sort of issues are behind you? Yeah, yeah, definitely feel in a good space. Mm. Um, just just being able to have some continuity with the team, and, and that's everybody. I think we're, as a team, we're, we start off a little little slow and guys in and out. So once we get everyone together and, and Joe Chi coming back tonight, it's, it's good to have the squad together and build some chemistry. And... Um, games like this, being able to, to rotate because of foul trouble early and, and see the confidence in the young guys and you guys coming in to fill roles and, and play them really well. And it's just going to help us down the line because you never know what happens with, with, with fouls, with injuries, with, with stuff. But we're in, a, we're in a good space and we need to just build off this momentum going forward. Now on four of your last five, sort of clawing away the gap between you and the top two. Is it amongst the players, is the, can you sort of feel the confidence sort of building as you head into the second half? And so? Yeah, we felt it building and then we laid a bit of an egg in New Zealand. So um, <clears throat> we, we understand that we can be really good when we're on, um, but we're just going to have that consistency and, and, and make sure we're locked in each and every game. Um, you know, it's going to be tight race going forward and wins like this are, are going to help us, not just um, for the win, but for, for the point differential, it's going to be really close. So um, big challenge again with Adelaide coming up this weekend that we need to turn our attention to. Simon, how happy are you to see Joe Chi back in the lineup? I know he only played limited minutes, but <clears> first game back for a while. How happy are you? Uh, yeah, I thought he was pretty good. Um, you know, uh, when he first came out, um, I wasn't overly impressed with some of the defensive efforts. You know, he, he, he's just he's looking after his lungs. He doesn't have his fitness. His hands were down. Um, he wasn't, um, you know, having any impact at the rim. Um, but... As the game wore on and he felt a little bit more rhythm, I really saw some changes there that he made, um, which I was really pleased with. And, um, you know, it's going to be, you know, we've got to be patient with Joe. Um, he's had a pretty hectic time of it um, this year and um, since the international games. And um, But the upside is huge with him. I mean, I think... I hate to think people forget how darn good he is um, and how much he can change a game at the defensive end around the rim. And, and we saw some glimpses there tonight. It was like, oh, yeah, as a friendly reminder of just how, how commanding he can be. You sort of, on that, you combine him with Alan Williams <coughs> in the form sends the league. It's sort of tantalising as a fourth for those two kids um, producing the back half of the year. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, I think Alan's been a little overlooked. I thought he was amazing tonight too. You know, the, early in the game, um, you know, Rowdy got going and and Gary got going and Cricky had a couple and you know, like he was really deferring to other guys um, while still playing well. Um, I thought some of his part when we was like, well, it's time to get Source going. He, he he got a bucket, but then he was still finding guys. Um, you know, Junior on that great back cut and um, you know he just celebrates his teammates' successes so well. Um, which makes him just as valuable, you know, when he's not scoring. And uh, you know, he had a double double in barely half a game, and um, and four dimes as well. So yeah, he, he's a high level player, a high level human being, and we're really lucky to have him. Coach, I know Gary returned to the game. I know Creek had a little fall as well. Are there any concerns about any of those things, or are they all just little niggles at the time? And uh, I, I think Gary was okay. Um, yeah, I'm a little worried about Creaky there for a bit, but. Um, He's pretty tough. He's got so many things going on um, in regards to his body that uh, it's just throw it in the line, throw it in the queue. It's just another thing. So um, Trey was probably the one where we're, you know, we're probably really um, careful with tonight. He just tweaked the ankle again and, um, you know, he had the foul trouble. So I was like, oh, well, let's get somebody else some opportunity tonight. Um, we've asked a bunch of other guys who sat here this sort of question, but the offensive firepower of this team is unreal. And it seems like... You guys are just playing with a lot of joy. Uh, what's it like for you to be out there with those oh, yeah, group of guys? Yeah. So many guys you can throw the ball to, you can create advantages, and 
maybe you're a bit more open than you ordinarily would be on another team. What's it like playing with this group? Yeah, it's, it's good fun. Um, we've got a little bit of everything, you know, obviously Gary and Trey <clears throat> being able to score and create. Uh, me being able to spread the floor and open things up for them, Creaky and, and Sauce and inside, or Creaky inside and outside. It's it's a tough matchup. There's, there's you know, there's so much different uh, skill sets that really work well together, and teams have to kind of pick their poison, what they want to take away, what they want to focus on. And um, as I said, it, some games it, it'll be me getting some more shots. Some games it's Creaky getting open lanes. Sometimes it's Sauce playing one on one. So. They did a. They tried to take Source out tonight by sending doubles and and, and forcing uh, us to shoot from the outside. And um, you know, luckily, we were able to shoot a pretty high percentage tonight. Um, but that just sort of fills us with confidence that we've got that un unselfish team. That if it's not our night, at least we are able to help the others get going and and spread the load. It was a pretty physical game. Tonight. You're involved in a bit of a collision with um, Matt Yang and. What was the um, sort of uh, five out there? Was it something particular that happened, or was it just one of those? Frankston came out. There for <laughs> <a second. laughs> people, people keep telling me I want to see more of it. Ah, oh, just, just a, just a rush of blood to the head, and stood up and creaky saved me from making a fool of myself, which was good. Um, but look, we, we, we chatted after the game and, and hugged and just sort of said we're, we're all good. Like things happen during the game. I'm, I am just getting sick of. Couple of elbows and shoulders to the face um, seems to be a common occurrence for me. I don't know what I've done or why I'm putting my head in the wrong spaces, but look, it's a physical game. Um, both teams came out, especially in the first half, determined to, to impose their will and, and, and get the game on their terms. And two teams that want to win. That's all it is. Just a competitive nature. Once the, the game's over, we, we shake hands. We're, we're all good. But you know, once you're on the court, it's you, you want to win. You're competing and. Uh, not trying to take a step back to anybody. Would you, on, just on that, would you like the refs to sort of see those little hits that you're copying a bit better and maybe look after a bit better? Uh, no, I think they've done a, a pretty good job. I've, uh, I've got uh, some... <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, look, when when <laughs> when I when I have Cop, Cop Samir and Aaron staff there, they've they've pulled it up and, and seen it and um, done a good job of making sure it doesn't lead to to anything more. And um, yeah, it's just part of basketball, and I'll keep sticking my head in while while I can and um, deal with the consequences later. But but it's just sometimes things happen in basketball. Sometimes you're just chasing over a screen and players are trying to get players open and. Things fly, and you know we're tall, lanky, unathletic, uh, uncoordinated people. So <laughs> things happen. The, the, the tray ankle tweak you spoke about—that's one that happened in warm ups. Or is there something before that that we? Uh, well, I wasn't out for warm ups. I did hear some sort of murmurs that he tweaked it in the warm ups. So, yeah. Are you hoping he'll be right for the next game, or what's the reason? No, I hope he's missing. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, let me that. sorry, let me answer it. Yeah, sorry, I'm being a pest. Um, yeah, look, he'll be okay. Yeah, we've got two days. Um, we've got some great medical staff here, and uh, it was. I mean, I'm sure we could have put him out there. He looked like he had a little bit of discomfort, um, but um, it didn't look like it was anything of overly were overly concerned. It wasn't the ankle that he hurt um, in New Zealand, so that was a good thing. Nothing on Zoom, so all good. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> someone tried to set me up with a referee question, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> I didn't stay alert.